Whenever you make a transaction, execute some code, or store some data on the Ethereum chain, one of the first things that you're going to need to do any of this is an Ethereum wallet. And one of the easiest wallets to interact with is MetaMask. In this video, we're going to teach you how to get set up with MetaMask, get some testnet Ethereum, and get some testnet Chainlink, which we're going to need to test our smart contracts. So let's get to it. There are many different types of blockchain wallets, and each wallet is connected to the blockchain chain of nodes. And they also remember every single transaction that's ever occurred. This is how we know how much balance in your wallet you actually have. We can programmatically access these wallets and you'll need a wallet to send some of this Ethereum gas and this Oracle gas, i.e. Chainlink, for your smart contracts. To get started setting up a brand new Ethereum wallet, we come to MetaMask and we hit download. Depending on what browser you have will facilitate how it actually gets installed. We're using Brave Browser, and we can just hit Install MetaMask for Chrome, and it'll bring us to the Chrome Web Store, and we can just add to Brave here. If you're using Chrome or Firefox or any other browser, it should work there as well. We're going to go ahead here and get started. If you have a wallet already, you can import your seed phrase here and go here. We're going to set it up as a brand new wallet. This will be your Ethereum wallet. We're going to approve or agree to help out MetaMask, create a password, agree to the terms of use, create. Now this is something that's really, really important, so please pay attention. Ethereum wallets are a little bit different than a bank account or a regular wallet. Since it's decentralized, if you lose your password or lose access to your account, it's really difficult to retrieve it and get back in. So, so if you lose your password and your seed phrases, you might be out of luck for getting any of your cryptocurrencies out. When you set up your wallet, please click there, reveal the seed words, and write these down in a safe location. Or use a password manager like 1Password, like what's recommended right here. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to skip over it, but please write it down. Great, boom. Now we are in our account. This is what your account is going to look like. You have your assets and your activity. Obviously, we have nothing in here right now. You'll also know that you can actually interact with it by clicking this little button in the top right, clicking your browser extension, and it has everything in here. So this is great. We can start interacting with smart contracts, but we have no Ethereum to start out with. So remember how I said there are multiple networks? If you click this right here, we can actually switch to a test network. We're going to go to the Robson test network. And again, we're going to need test Robson ETH to run our test transactions though. So how do we actually get it? Well, we can go to a Robston Ethereum faucet. This will give you free test Ethereum to use. You can simply Google it or check the links in the description. Hit Robston Ethereum faucet. And what you can do is click your MetaMask account, copy your account by clicking right here, paste it in here, then hit send me test ether. And this will actually be our first Ethereum testnet transaction. And we'll get a transaction hash right here, which brings us to the transaction. Remember how in the last video, I said that we have to wait a little bit for the miners to do a little bit of work. That's exactly what's going on right here. We are waiting for the miners to confirm our transaction. And we can see that this is actually the Ethereum wallet that sent us the Ethereum. And this is our brand new Ethereum wallet. Now that it's successful, if we go in our MetaMask account, we can see we now have one Ethereum in it. And if we go to activity, we can see our last transaction came from this address. Etherscan is a really popular Ethereum block explorer. So we'll be using it a lot to check transactions out. So now we have our testnet Ethereum for our transaction gas. We now need our Chainlink token for our Oracle gas. So we can find it the same way by typing in Robston Link Faucet, or you can check the links in the description as well. We can come here, click our account address, and then paste our address in here. I'm not a robot. Send me 100 testnet link. Your request was successful. View your transaction here. So again, we're getting another Robson transaction, getting our testnet chain link here. Now, same thing. While we waited for this to confirm, and it's confirmed now, we actually don't see it pop up here in our MetaMask. So I'm just going to expand the view here now. What we have to do is we have to add token. So we're going to add a custom token. We're going to look up the link, Robson address, or check the docs paste this, you'll see link pop up and 18 pop up, hit next, add tokens, and you'll see we have 100 link in our account. So if we go back to here, we now have one ETH and 100 testnet link in our account. And now that we have our testnet Ethereum and our testnet chain link, let's start deploying some smart contracts. An important thing to note too, if you're using Brave, after you download MetaMask, go to settings, type in wallet, and make sure this goes to MetaMask. 